What's going on guys? Today we are going to do something that's been bothering me for a very long time. Anybody who's bought a polished or machined set of XXRs knows that their clear coat is horrible. And uh, the wheels that are on the car are a perfect example of this situation. They started peeling after like six months or something like that, but my brother owned the car and he didn't really care so he never had them replaced under warranty. So um, now I'm going to take care of that and I'm going to fix it. So. Stay tuned. This is what the wheels look like right now. It's a little dirty, so there is some brake dust on there. But if I wipe off that brake dust, you can see that we have this peeling clear coat right here. And it's been peeling so long that it's might be starting to corrode a little bit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this wheel off first, but I'm going to... Um, prep this and get it ready to spray with paint stripper and we're going to take all of this clear cut off and then we're going to polish the wheel and it should look new. So first let's get this swapped out with a different wheel. And there we are. Now I got this wheel right here. I took the center cap out of it. I'm going to go ahead and start masking some stuff off. I'm going to mask each one of these bolts off. I'm going to mask this off and I'm going to mask the tire off. All right, so here's what we've done. Uh, masking this off has taken me more time than anybody would ever want to spend on this just because of these stupid fake plastic rivets um, that I don't want to ruin because they're super expensive and a pain to replace. You have to drill them out and hammer the new ones in. That's actually probably less work than taping them off, except for the fact that they're expensive, so I don't want to have to spend that money on them. So I taped all the tire off and all of those, and I have this stuff now. Aircraft remover, this is what you wanna use. Don't get any other paint stripper. This is, I've used this multiple times and it always works the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying that on the wheel and it should hopefully take off all the clear coat. We'll see what happens. Don't be. Don't be like me, don't breathe that stuff in. Look at that already. We're gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna scrape the paint off. And then we'll probably do it, uh, do one more coat, maybe, if need be. Here's what it looks like after the fact. Not much different, honestly. I sprayed the crap out of here because I didn't believe that there wasn't any paint there, but I actually think there might not be any paint there. I should have taped this up, whoops. But uh, this stuff, a little bit, is coming loose, but I actually don't want it to, so that's pretty good. I just want the part with the peeling clear coat to come off. So, we'll go ahead and uh, I'm actually gonna wipe this up with some paper towel, and I guess we'll see, we'll take a look at it afterwards. All right, so I just power washed it. Here's what it looks like. So I wiped off that paint with the paper towel as much as I could, and then I just took it out here and I just power washed it. Um, it looks pretty good. There was uh, some corrosion from where the clear was peeling before, like right there. It's not too bad. I'm actually just gonna hit this with some polish, and I think all of that'll come out. There's a little bit of pitting um, that could be sanded out. I've refinished wheels before sanding them, but I don't, I'm not gonna do that. It's, it's very, very minor, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't really have time to polish this whole thing right now, but I don't wanna wait, so I'm just gonna hit this spot down here and see how it ends up looking. This is actually a really bad spot. Can't really see because I covered it with polish. I'm going to use this wool pad. Um, I had a foam one specifically for polishing wheels, and I don't know where it went, and I just wanna see how this works, so I'm just gonna use that for right now, and we'll just see what happens. All right guys, well from about right here to right here is all I've done. But as you can see, basically all the imperfections are out. There's just like a, a little tiny bit in there still, but once I have a better thing to polish than that, um, I'll be able to get all of it out. And these wheels are gonna look amazing when they're all done. All right guys, so this is quite a bit later. I finished the other wheel, it came out good. I don't wanna show it to you because it's really dirty right now. Um, but these three are clean. 
and uh, I'm doing these ones. This is what I would suggest doing if you have these wheels and you're trying to do the same thing. Is try to tape up more of this. So cover the fake bolt as well as some of the side here. Because this is painted. It's not machined like all this stuff. And um, the aircraft stripper takes off the clear coat really easily but it doesn't take off this paint in here or in inside here very well so when you spray it none of that really comes out but on the other wheel this started cracking on both sides here on each one it was it's really not noticeable unless I pointed it out to somebody but just in case I taped off all these and I wanted to let you guys know that before I go ahead and spray these ones because of the damage on the wheel this actually ended up doing a better job on the original wheel than uh, than polish and uh, power ball thing, the foam ball and polish. This works a lot better to get rid of this corrosion. So this is what I'm going to be using to polish the wheels. I might hit them with regular polish after, but possibly not. I might just use this and call that good enough. <laughs> Alright, so here's the wheel, there's stuff all over it still, so I'm going to peel off all of the tape and then we're going to take a look and see how it came out. Alright, so just so you guys can see the difference here, here's a wheel that I haven't done yet. You can see all like the corrosion and how bad it looks everywhere. And then here's the wheel that just got done. It's not perfect by any means. Um, you can see there's still like a spot right there on the inside that I couldn't get, but I mean if you look at like the outside and everything It looks much better It's really not perfect like I said um, If you were to do this what I would recommend is sanding the corroded spots that would get them out completely But I just really didn't feel like doing that and really you shouldn't let it go this long if your clear coat is peeling just uh, remove it right away and polish the wheel and then just make sure that they stay polished and they'll never corrode. All right, you guys, so here's the end result. Looks so much better. I have all four wheels on here. They look way better. Funny story though, this wheel I actually ran over a brick the other day and there's a slow leak and I checked it and the inside of the barrel is cracked now. So I have to replace this wheel anyway so I kind of wasted my time refinishing it. But I already ordered a new one for it. But they look really good. Alright guys that's the end of this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you need to do the same thing I know it's really common for polished XXRs to start peeling clear coat so that's the best way to do it. Just take the clear coat off and polish them and they'll look really nice. Just make sure just make sure that you keep them polished like every every three months or so just repolish them i'm actually going to put a coat of wheel wax on them to kind of keep them protected but um, i'm actually going to be switching to winter mode soon here so all right well uh thank you for watching if you liked it make sure that you share it subscribe uh things like that but thank you for watching and peace